Welcome everyone to a sad day for any ECW fans out there. This is going to be the final episode of ECW because Vince McMahon, who now has sole control over the entire company, has decided he is not going to be continuing ECW under his network. So unfortunately, I present to you the final episode of Extreme Championship Wrestling. Welcome everybody to the final edition of ECW, ECW might be ending but we are going to be leaving with a bang, a great card for you guys this evening, kicking it off with an extreme rules contest, it is going to be Rhino versus Jerry Lynn, this is a grudge match dating back now several months ago all the way back to the Hardcore Reunion pay per view, it was scheduled to be a TV title defence, Jerry Lynn versus Kevin Steen. Before that match, Rhino attacking Jerry Lynn, who was the TV champion, basically costing Jerry Lynn that contest. So Jerry Lynn losing the ECW Television Championship due to the actions by Rhino. Then after the match, both men bowed it out, going up the rampway, which resulted in a gore off the stage to the concrete floor, which took Jerry Lynn out, out of action for several months before eventually coming back a bit more recently and attacking Rhino. And that is pretty much how we have got here tonight. So as I said, a great grudge match between these two ECW originals. A match that has been months in the making. But finally, on the final edition of ECW, these two great ECW veterans are going to be locking up for one final time. So a great way to kick off this last edition of ECW. Ryan of the obvious bigger man. Stronger, bigger. Oh, big back suplex. Oh, snapping that arm back. And now a flurry of punches. Jade on the ropes. Oh, but Lynn. Back body drop right over the top onto the apron, but Lynn off the ropes. Going for his own spear, sending Rhino all the way face first onto that guard route. Lynn on the top rope looking for that drop kick, cannot connect the man beast. Aware of the situation, sidestepping Lynn and now Rhino back in control. Going to be going for another power move now as only Rhino can do, but no, Jerry Lynn out of that one. Sending Rhino now back into that guard rail and we're about to get extreme. A chair shot and another chair shot. Do not forget this match is an extreme rules match anything goes weapons are encouraged but guys what a great edition of ECW we've got for you tonight it may be the final edition but it is going to be a great edition we are going to be crowning the final ECW World Heavyweight Champion that championship is currently vacated and it has been vacant ever since RVD lost the Champion of Champions match back at the Bragging Rights pay-per-view. We were originally scheduled to have a 20-man tournament to determine who will be the ECW Champion, but because of Vince McMahon deciding to not continue this brand, that championship tournament has obviously been scrapped, but before ECW does end, it's only right ECW does end with a champion. So a great match we have got lined up. As decided by you, the viewers, it is going to be for the vacant ECW Heavyweight Championship in a TLC match. It is going to be Sabu versus Rob Van Dam. So a fitting way to end ECW. All that and more still to come. 
but back into this one. Jerry Lynn on the top row, going for that drop kick again. But Rhino in control, slamming his face down hard onto the mat. Now dissecting the body bit by bit. Big mop shot and a second one. Oh, and a third one this time, bringing that mop down over the back of the neck of Jerry Lynn. And it's clear Rhino in firm control. I said before, Rhino the bigger man, the stronger man. That's showing. Oh, Jerry Lynn though with a comeback. Kick to the gut. Oh, a big back suplex. Rhino reeling, holding that neck. And now Jerry Lynn positioning Rhino over that chair. What is he going to be going for? Suplex. Oh, a brain buster. A brain buster. Crashing Rhino down onto that chair. It could be over. But the man B's kicking it after a long two count. Rhino's turn out, going towards that chair. What is he going to be going for? Looks like a power bomb. Can he connect? Oh, yes, he can. Spinning around onto that chair. Rhino could be victorious. But Jerry Lynn, just like Rhino prior, showing the heart of a champion, showing the heart of an ECW original. Oh, and Rhino again, crashing down onto that steel chair. Rhino crying out in pain. Jerry Lynn now the original half and show to the top rope. Connects with a big leg drop. But Rhino again refusing to stay down. Oh, a big power slam. Again, onto that steel chair. That steel chair being sent flying from the ring. What a great match this has been. This grudge match has been a long time coming. These two finally getting a one-on-one -on -one match tonight. And it is not disappointing in the slightest. And Jerry Ling with that neck break off the top rope. Again into the cover. But Rhino again kicking out after a two count. Both these men desperate to end ECW on a high. Rhino kicking him away. Close out off the top rope. And you can see Rhino now brimming with confidence. Jerilyn momentarily fighting back, but it didn't last too long. Rhino again. Oh, a big chop. Sending Lynn down. Picking him to his feet. Oh, and a second one. Can he make it free? Yes, he can. Three huge chops by the man beast to Jerry Lynn. And now this one could be over. Rhino signaling. Could be going for a gore. Oh, Jerry Lynn reversed it. Into the DDT. What a counter by Jerry Lynn. Positioning Rhino. What is Lynn going to be going for? Oh, here we go. Omega Driver crashing Rhino's head down onto that steel chair. What a move by Lynn. This has got to be over. And it is. Jerry Lynn with that Omega Driver crashing Rhino down onto that steel chair. This grudge match has ended with Jerry Lynn victorious. ECW might be ending, but we are going to be ending with a bang. Jerry Lynn defeating Rhino in an outstanding Extreme Rules match to kick off this final edition of Extreme Championship Wrestling. Coming up now, we have got another grudge match. It is going to be Rey Mysterio versus Chris Jericho. Now, these two men were scheduled originally to have a six-man tag team elimination match back at the Survivor Series pay-per-view. But because of the complications surrounding ECW and its future, that match, unfortunately, was scrapped from the show. But these two will again go at it tonight. We have seen these two face off quite a few times in the past especially in recent memory but this is going to be the final time on the last edition of ECW so who is going to be leaving ECW on top Chris Jericho or Rey Mysterio Rey in control off the ropes oh this is classic Rey if he can connect oh and he can that sent on rope to rope with that sent on over top rope crashing down on Jericho on the outside Oh, Ray back into the ring. Oh, but Jericho, too quick for Ray that time. And you don't say that too often. 
But Jericho, that big suplex. Drop. Oh, and a drop kick. That drop kick sending Ray down with authority. And now Y2J, another huge drop kick to the chin of Mysterio. Irish whip. Uh, Y2J, classic chop. And a second one. What is he going for this time? Going for a third chop. Not connecting Ray. Oh, spinning sent on Hurricanrana into the pin. A long two count. Mysterio coming so close. But as I was saying before, these two have a great rivalry dating back to when Y2J originally defeated Eddie Guerrero in that Loser Leaves Tail match, which resulted in Eddie Guerrero being fired from Raw. Eddie, of course, former tag team partner and best friend of Rey Mysterio. So when Eddie was fired from the WWE, Rey obviously taking great offence to that. And that is where this Y2J Rey Mysterio feud originally began. But good news regarding Eddie Guerrero breaking just a couple of days ago. Eddie is going to be re-signing to the Raw brand in the very near future. Obviously great news there for any Guerrero fans. And despite ECW coming to an end and presumably a lot of superstars leaving without a job. That is not going to be the case of these two superstars. Because with ECW ending every superstar has become a free agent. Then these two particular free agents have already been picked up by the other brands. So I can now exclusively reveal both Y2J and Mysterio have signed contracts with the Raw brand. So if you're a fan of these two superstars, then you'll be seeing these two each and every week on Monday's edition of Raw. The same can't be said, unfortunately, for every member of this ECW roster. But I'm sure as time goes on, some of these guys will be getting contracts and they will be making their way back onto your TV screens. But back into this one, Y2J, clearly the bigger man in control of this one, choking Ray with that rope. Going downstairs now, we know Jericho with that famous Walter Jericho. One of the most deadliest submission holds in wrestling history. Jericho has got to be looking to go to that eventually because he has softened up Ray's legs and we are seeing big dragon screw to the leg there. I think that's a third or fourth time Jericho has gone downstairs on Mysterio and we know Mysterio has had not a great history with those knees. Oh, but Ray staging a comeback now looks like off the rope with that bulldog. Oh, big drop kick. Bick and Y2J to his feet again. Ray off the ropes. Oh, that spinning DDT. Planting Jericho down hard on the mat. Again off the ropes. Oh, but this time Y2J wise to it. Pulling him around into that variation of the neck breaker. And Jericho again dissecting the body parts. Back to that leg. I think that's the fifth time now. Jericho going downstairs. Northern Light suplex into the bridge. Only one come that time. Jericho not letting up. Oh, but Ray to his credit. Fighting back then. Big drop kick. Oh, another DDT. Spinning him around. Ray now. Oh, what a move. A springboard bulldog by one of the most famous cruiserweights in wrestling history. But just like that, the very first undisputed champion, Chris Jericho, fighting back, rain out. Again, not in a great situation. Jericho, oh, for him, Ray, hard into the corner. Shoulder to ring post, definitely not going to feel good in the morning. And again, Ray attempting to come back, but Jericho wise to it. And now the end could be here because we're finally going to see it. The walls of Jericho. But Ray showing great leg strength, tossing Jericho away. Oh, here we go. Why me, die me. 619 me, the 619 connects to Jericho. Go for the springboard. Oh, Jericho, that code breaker. That mid-air counter, the code breaker from nowhere. And just like that, Y2J picking up 
A huge victory. It's looking like this Ray Y2J feud has ended with Jericho on top. A great victory by Jericho on the final edition of ECW. You can see clearly means a lot to Y2J. The fans enjoyed that match. Oh, but Jericho isn't done. Bringing that steel chair now back into the ring. Oh, this is not fair. This is not good. What the? We mentioned Eddie returning to Raw, but for one night only, Eddie returning to ECW. Latino Heat rushing the ring. Coming to the aid of his best friend, Rey Mysterio. Eddie throwing Y2J from the ring. As I said, Mysterio and Guerrero going to be going to Raw. So this is definitely not the last you have seen of the pairing of the Latino World Order. But moving on quickly, it is already time for tonight's main event. We are going to be crowning a brand new ECW champion. And we are going to be crowning the final ECW champion that will for sure go down in history. So RVD, Sabu... These two have been friends, these two have been enemies, they've even been former tag team champions, two time ECW tag team champions I do believe. But tonight they are going to be battling for the vacant ECW World Heavyweight Championship. So one of these two men is going to go down in history as the final ECW champion in ECW history. I mentioned it earlier on, but this ECW World Championship has been vacated ever since RVD lost the Champion of Champions match back at the Bragging Rights pay-per-view. We were originally going to be having a huge tournament to decide who was going to be the new champion, but because of Vince McMahon's decision to end the ECW, we've had to scrap that tournament obviously. And we have gone with two of the most popular choices and two of the most popular superstars in ECW history. That being Sabu and Rob Van Dam. Definitely two of the most extreme superstars we've ever seen, let alone in ECW, but the whole of wrestling. So two of the most extreme superstars of all time going to be battling it out to determine who, who is going to be the final ECW champion and if things could not get any better it is being contested in a tables ladders and chairs match Sabu with the electric chair drop with the hanging RVD from that belt crashing down into the ring Sabu now that ladder in hand positioning it in the corner we know both these men very capable of using that ladder in an effective way as we are seeing now RVD oh scoop slamming Sabu onto that ladder Sabu arriving in pain but like I've mentioned these two are ECW legends we know already how much punishment these two can take so <laughs> oh and that's speaking of punishment Drop toe hold into the chair. But yeah, we know these two guys can take a hell of a lot of punishment. So this is definitely going to be a brutal match. And it's sure to go down in ECW history as one of the best main events we've ever seen. RVD with that classic taunt. Chair in hand. Oh, vintage Van Dam, That drop kick sending that chair into the face of his opponent. Calling him to his feet. Oh, but Sabu ducking it. Now forcing RVD into the corner. RVD being put on the top rope. Oh, a big glancing shot to the back of the head. RVD motionless now, just perched on top. Sabu turning his attention to that table. Oh, possibly a mistake there by Sabu. RVD off the top rope with that classic kick. And now RVD's turn, set up that table. As I said, this is a tables, ladders and chairs match. So weapons are certainly encouraged. And I'm sure everybody knows by now. But the only way to win this match is to climb the ladder and pull down the championship. In this case, the vacant ECW heavyweight title. 
And we have just seen RVD bust it open the hard way with that big snap DDT by Sabu. Both these men, former ECW World Champions, are going to be looking to be the final ECW Champion ever. And Sabu going to go to the top row, but not quite quick enough that time. Sabu now in a bad predicament. RVD. Oh, superplex. Off the top turnbuckle through that table. Do not forget the only way to win this match is to climb that ladder and pull down that championship. And RVD with that ladder. Going to be looking to climb it momentarily, but Sabu quickly to his feet. A slip of thought. These two can take so much punishment. But that time... Big drop kick. Now Van Dahl on the apron, but Sabu reversing whatever RVD was going to be going for. Sabu off the ropes. Oh, a sent on over the top rope. We saw that in the previous match. We've now seen it in the main event. Definitely a popular move here in Mananov Extreme. Ah, oh, Sabu's face smashed off the announcer's table. The clothesline by Van Dam. And now RVD on the apron, waiting for Sabu to get to his feet, which he finally does. And again, off the apron, Sabu crashing down again. RVD can see the opportunity. RVD alone in the ring, going to be putting that championship down. Sabu, that springboard drop kick. RVD crashing down and now walking in. Oh, to a trademark Sabu move. Sabu's turn now to go to the top rope. Going for that float over leg drop. RVD wise to it. These two men know each other so well. Know the exact counter they need for each other's moves. And a signature move coming up with a roll of thunder by RVD. We have seen RVD do that move so many times as the five-star frog splash misses. Again, like I said, these two men know each other inside out. Sabu dodging the five-star frog splash. Both men again to their feet, at least for now. Sabu, oh, great agility shown by the veteran with a hurricanrana sending Van Damme down into the center of the ring. And now Sabu again, going under the ring, this time pulling out a chair, but RVD again over the top rope. Wow, what a main event this has been, what a way to end ECW, the land of extreme definitely going out with a bang. You can see with Debbie in the ring we have got a broken chair, a broken table. But yet, these two men still continue. And I think Van Damme again there going crashing down on that chair. Maybe not connecting quite as much as Sabu would have liked. But still connecting somewhat. But Sabu not too happy apparently with that connection. Because he is going to be going out for another move from that chair it appears. What is this? What a move. Sending Van Damme, spine first onto that chair. Sabu, calling to the heavens, going to be looking for a special move. And he gets a nice big shot to Van Damme. Van Damme now, life is on the mat. Sabu, again, going to the top rope. Oh, that float over leg drop. Connects this time. That is vintage Sabu. Sabu, going for the other ladder this time. This could be a golden opportunity to pull down that ECW Championship. Climb the ladder, but Van Damme quickly to his feet. Oh, a big chair shot. Still on spine, not going to feel good in our power bomb. Sabu not quite taking advantage that time. But RVD climbing slowly. Can't quite get his hands on the championship. Oh, and that delay has cost him. Sabu sending RVD down off that ladder. Crashing down onto another ladder. A ladder sandwich. Definitely not going to taste too good, that's for sure. 
and now Sabu go for another check. Not one now this time. And Sabu that time wise to the springboard move by Van Dam. Van Dam crashing down onto the outside mat. These two veterans continuing their assault to become the brand new and final ECW champion. The winner of this match will no doubt go down in history as not only one of the greatest ECW champions of all time, but as the final champion of all time. As we see RBD sent down again, that time at the hands of the steel chair. But Sabu now positioning the furniture. Clearly got something in mind for Van Damme as he gets back into the ring. It's clear to see Van Damme so far reeling in pain. You can see the forehead absolutely covered with blood. But again, he is fighting back. Irish whip. Troll kick. This time, Sabu on the outside of the ring. Van Damme quickly outside of that chair. And we know RVD certainly knows how to use a steel chair. Here we go, Van Daminator. And Sabu was already bleeding, but that Van Daminator is certainly not going to help. And now both men outside of the ring. Van Damme attempting again to try and wear down Sabu. But certainly going to be hard to do, that's for sure. Oh, again, Sabu back in control. What the hell was this? Oh, what a move. A variation of the Bulldog crashing Van Damme's face down into the steel. And again, Sabu placed that chair down. What is he going to be going for this time? Oh, locking up behind. Oh, reverse Harikarana. Spiking Van Damme's head and neck down onto that steel chair. That has got to take an RBD out for good, surely. No, RBD again. I said before, these two guys can take so much punishment. And that has proven to be the case because that move would have taken out many superstars. But Van Damme up in just a matter of seconds. You can clearly see how much this World Championship means to both men. Destroying their bodies, all to become the final ECW champion. Big ladder shot that time to Sabu. And now RVD's turn to move the furniture around. Got that ladder. Clearly got something in mind there with that announcer's table. Yep, there we go. RVD clearing the way. What are we going to be seeing? Both guys locking up. Sabu being sent for that big back suplex. And more classic Van Dam kicks. That spinning kick to the face of Sabu. And now RVD checking that ladder. Nice and secure, which it is. And you've got to assume, guys, RVD has got something big planned. But whatever he's got planned is going to be put on hold. Because, again, Sabu just fighting back. Sending RVD down. Sabu going for the climb. Sabu the championship in hand. Oh, but cannot quite pull it down. RVD that time back in the ring. And now Sabu crashing off that ladder. Oh, and RVD sending Sabu into that still. Shoulder into the ring post. And you can hear the ECW fans absolutely loving this match. As hopefully you viewers are at home as well. Again, this match for the vacant ECW World Championship. And again, this is the final edition of ECW. So one of these guys will be going down in history as the final ECW World Champion. You can see both participants in this match absolutely covered with blood. Doing everything they can do to inflict as much damage as possible onto their opponent. Again, another big springboard move by RVD. These two guys have feuded many times before and have created some awesome matches. But possibly this is going to be the best match of the bunch. We have seen tables, 
We have seen ladders, we have seen chairs, of course this being a TLC match. But we have seen some awesome spots. And it's looking like those spots are only going to continue. We have got a ladder set up by the announcer's position. And we have got RVD now placed on the announcer's table. This is not good for RVD. We have seen this before. Sabu possibly going to be looking for that moonsault. A devastating move if he can connect. Oh, but he can't because RVD to his feet. Now both men on that ladder. This is not a great predicament for either man. These two training punches. RVD, that big kick. Sabu crashing off through the announcer table. Oh, and a five-star frog splash. RVD considering it for a second, but connected in the end with a huge five-star frog splash. You can see the fans here going wild. Sabu lifeless. This is RVD's golden opportunity to climb that ladder and pull down the ECW Championship. And that is exactly what he's attempting. Sabu still not moving. RVD in the ring. Championship in hand. But oh, you can see both these guys are exhausted. RVD can't quite put it down. But Sabu. Oh, Sabu. What a move. Running up that ladder. Jumping onto the ladder. What great agility shown by Sabu. Both men now at the top of the ladder. Who is going to be pulling down that championship? Holy. Oh, sunset flip power bomb off that ladder through the table. RVD got to be broken in half after that one. What a move by the homicidal, genocidal, suicidal Sabu. Running from the outside of the ring up that ladder. Into the ring, onto the ladder. And now Sabu in pole position to pull down that championship. RVD trying to get back to his feet, but Sabu kicking him away. And ladies and gentlemen, he has done it. We have crowned our final ECW champion. Sabu going down in history as the final ECW World Heavyweight Champion. And now these two great superstars in the ring. RVD showing the respect to the brand new champion. Great respect that's shown by RVD. But ladies and gentlemen, this is the final edition of ECW. ECW certainly going out of a bang and ECW ending with Sabu as the final ECW champion. You have been watching The Land of Extreme and for the final time 101 signing out.